Welcome back to another part of Resident Evil 2. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. We're still continuing on with Claire, and we got the lighter now since the previous episode, so we're gonna go use it quickly. And I don't know if we can get the detonator yet. But let's have a look. To use these windows to close them, you need a wire. And you need to do it somewhat early in the game as well, because the later it will not help you. There is a very specific uh, place if you go there. Um, it's the bookshelves, the, one, the ones that we moved, yeah? If you go there, then you will spawn these enemies in inside both rooms. I want to check if there's any ammo anywhere. There is something to read, though. Operation Report. Operation Report, September 26. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. During the attack, our communication equipment was destroyed and was no longer... Uh, and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out uh, an operation uh, with the intent of rescuing many, uh, any possible survivors as well uh, to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. Uh, the details of the operation are as follows. Security of... Um, Ar Armem Arment and communication. Chief Irons uh, has voiced concern um, regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, uh, he made a decision to relocate all weapons uh, to scattered uh, in intervals throughout the building as, the, as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision was made extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered mutation... Um, um, Munitions? Munitions? There we go. Uh, to unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, uh, it will be able to... Uh, it will be... It will be extremely difficult to secure all ammunition. However, a considerably... Uh, a considerable supply will uh, still remains in the underground weapon storage. And... Uh, Unfortunately, the person in charge of the car uh, key card used to access the weapon storage is missing. And we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers were, uh, went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in their certain areas. Uh, it has become a top priority to be uh, to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Recorder David Ford. Operation report September 27th, 1 p.m. So this is during the day. Uh, this is most probably just after lunch. <laughs> uh, the West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange Un unsued. Uh, we scat. Uh, we we sheltered uh, the injured in the con confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Recorder David Ford. Additional report: three additional people were killed following. Um, the sudden appearance of an as what the hell of an as 
of yet unknown creature. Uh, this creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, it's, uh, it's most disgustingly uh, characteristic is launch-like launch tongue. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. There's new uh, numbers as as well as their location remains unknown. We have uh, tented, tentatively tentatively named the creature the Licker, and the currently in the process of developing countermeasures uh, to deal with the new threat. Goodness, man. My reading is still terrible, guys. I'm trying to improve, okay? Is that something else we could read? No. <laughs> no. So we come over here, we use the lighter. Pretty much all we do here. And there's no shotgun shells or grenade rounds or anything else in here, it seems. Nothing else. Can't even believe there's no sh uh, bullets, like not even pistol ammo. Okay, so we go this way. I think. There we go. We use the key. Now, this room could be very scary, actually. Because we just read that there's many survivors that they stored inside this room. Okay, we're still on caution. Let's reload. danger now. We use our first aid spray. My goodness, dude. Okay. I wanted to check that room out. It's broken. Do you use a lockpick? Yes. Do you use your lockpick? I wanted to check that side because maybe we um, maybe we get uh, some ammo or something. All I need now is to destroy the wall being blocked by the helicopter is a detonator. You unlocked it. So yeah, that really sucks though, because I wanted to check out that room. But there's way too many enemies there. Way, way too many. Grab the planty. I'm pretty sure we'll use it. Marvin Brana. Reverse my way out of here. Come on. is dead because the music stopped so now what I picked up the plant because I thought I'll need it against Marvin Brana because normally I tank him by the way and then I just push him off so now we have the detonator and if I'm not mistaken you get ammo here as well they really hide all the ammo man there's another document to read here Memo to Leon. Uh, to Leon S. Kennedy, congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you 
as a part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. We read that perfectly, dude. Don't let it go to your head, Manzi. What are you doing? So normally I use the stairs here, but I think there's going to be enemies, so we're going to just leave that. Uh, also, this is a save point. Nothing else here for us to grab. I don't know if we should just take the grenade launcher and just get that over with. All the enemies in that room. Let's maybe do that, you know? Grab the grenade launcher, we'll drop our knife. Maybe like this. Or we could do this. Because we also still have that key, though. But we'll use the key later, because I'm not equipped right now to go for that key. Otherwise, we could just kill all zombies with a grenade launcher, but that that's going to be overkill, I think. So that take care, takes care of that. I thought I heard movement. I thought there might be another one alive. Okay, we just instantly run here against the table, and you should be fine. So now we're going upstairs again. And we should maybe grab a planty. We'll leave the one upstairs and one downstairs. Okay, so right now, we have to go to the box, change our weapons back to uh, the pistol, number one. Number two is we have to get that square thingy. So we can combine this, by the way. And we'll get our pistol back. Like this, I think. This will be fine for now. Unless we get the hard key inside here. I don't know what key we're gonna get. If it's the hard key... Which I assume it is... Okay, let's go. If it's the hard key, then... Uh, Then we'll most probably want to take that knife, I think. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy, and she will turn into a zombie within the hour, like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And 
to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. He's definitely the richest chief in the world, dude. If this is if this is how his office looks like, just imagine the car he's driving or the house he lives in, right? I just say it. We'll inspect this place very soon. There's a document to read also. Let's do that quickly. Uh, Secret Diary B. June 8th. As I was straightening up the chief's room, uh, he bursted through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I've started working here. Uh, but that's uh, the second time I've seen him like this. The last time... The last time was when I bumped in, uh, into that statue. Only time, uh, the only time this, uh, the only time uh, he looked even more uh, agi agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment uh, that he was going to hurt me. June 15th, I finally discovered that the chief uh, has been hiding all along, what the chief has been hiding all along. Uh, if he finds out that I know my life will be in serious danger, it's getting late already. I'm just going to have to take uh, this one day at a time. Alrighty then. Wait, let me go! Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. <laughs> Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. Ada, wait. We got a first aid spray there, man. Normally I laugh at it and don't take it, but this time it's kind of needed. Okay, we gotta inspect this side of the room. It's wiped clean. Nothing useful. Okay, there's nothing useful here. I'm just making my way downtown, running fast. It's a stuffed animal. And I'm homebound. I didn't check if I have the square. I, I think I forgot to take it. Chief? If we didn't take it, I need to go pick it up right now, come back here. Otherwise, we'll have inventory issues. We also didn't use the other gem yet. So let's do that quickly. Use the other gem. I think we only get a half, a half, a, uh, a half a blue uh, block or square.
Yeah, it's the blue one. I think it's only a half one. So we need to find the other half and combine them. Which will do. But first, let's get the square, put it in here. This means we'll drop uh, finally a heal inside. Maybe two heals. We'll use two heals here. So we got a first aid spray also. Uh, like that. And then this one. We'll put it there. And then this key we'll put here. I think. Uh, it's still a while before you use the lighter also. So our inventory will look like that. We'll run back. Yeah, we'll run back. And we'll use the first square. Then we have like four open slots. Which can hopefully, f hopefully fill up with some ammo, because wow. We are running decently low. But before the first boss, we'll actually get some acid rounds as well. There's something to read there. Let's see. Uh, Chief's Diary. September 23. It's all over. Those uh, imb imbuciles uh, from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, uh, they've ruined my town. Soon, the streets uh, will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may uh, even be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in town if this turns out to be true. September 24th. I was successful in uh, spreading confusion among the police as planned. I've made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. Uh, with the delays in police actions, no one will have the chances to escape my city alive. I've been, uh, I've been to it personally that all escape routes from inside the uh, precinct have been cut off as well. Uh, there are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. September 26th. Uh, I've had a change of heart about uh, the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him uh, writhe, wreathe, I don't know how to pronounce that, wreathe maybe uh, in pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was uh, positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the pose I chose to give her. What the heck, dude? That is so dark. You know, this is the thing. This is the thing, dude. Like, once you become extremely rich, people don't know what to do. I mean, if you think logically about it, I'm a fan of a, a series that is called um, a Squid Game, right? And if you think about Squid Game, it's all these rich people that just, they just don't know what to do with their money. So at the end of the day, you're sitting with, uh, with a big problem, right? The rich just keep getting richer, the poor remain poor. And the rich eventually gets to a point where they don't know what to do. So either they get into drugs or they get into something else. Something bigger, if that makes sense.
I just want to see what's inside here. It's a num numerous key. So two, two, three, six. Okay, we got acid rounds and uh, and a map, I think. Police station map. So that's why you read the documents, my friend. Because without the documents, I wouldn't have been able to know the password. <laughs> this is the only place we use the hard key, so we discard it afterwards. And we used about four, maybe five bullets, but we got six acid rounds from that, so that's perfect. Now there should be dogs here. There we go. And there's two ways we could run, left or right, but you always run left. If you play Claire, you always run right if you play Leon. It's two different locations. Now, Leon can come here. Um, we're going down this mana hole. Leon can come here, but it's a dead end for him. You can't do anything this side. There's no manhole there. And then this is where the part will end, guys. I'm just gonna fix my inventory and then save. No bullets laying around. And this is our inventory. Yeah, that's our inventory, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the video for today. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye.